Yes, sir. <laughs> hey guys, John and Cody here. Nothing but cardboard. Hope everybody's doing well. And today, Cody has some PSA cards. So stay tuned. Let's see what he has. All right, guys, as John mentioned, I have two boxes here in front of me. One of them is going to be a blind reveal, and then the other one is actually going to be a return of a card that I got in a recent submission that was cracked. Uh, so no one has actually seen this. I didn't film this one. I'm assuming this is that card. So as, as we speak, let me just go ahead and open these up, and uh, we'll kind of go through what's going on in these submissions and maybe even a little bit about NBC. Got a giveaway coming up. John, why don't you plug that information real quick? Yeah, the giveaway is live now. There's a video with John without an H getting punched in the package by PSA pretty much over and over again. That's the video you want to go to and sign up, comment, like, subscribe to the channel. You have until the 15th at midnight to sign up. And then on the 16th, we're going to open those boxes. We have a mega baseball, a mega football, and a mega basketball. Three different boxes. Three winners are going to be picked, and then you get to pick which um, which one you want. So make sure you sign up for that. So explain how this got cracked. Did you crack it? Did you order it and it came cracked? So I had a 30-card PSA submission with some just random cards that I found. And I bought this Xavier Tillman courtside at a 10 for like 10 bucks. So I bought the card. I sent it off to get graded, and it came back, and when I opened the package, the PSA package, it was cracked. Like the entire front of the slab was cracked. Wow. And there was 30 cards in one box. So I just thought maybe they overpacked it. So sent it in. They, uh, it took a while though. It actually took some time, just like opening this box. Um, I think it took rough, roughly a month and a half. Wow. That's to have them re slab um, the card. But um, in comparison to our Trevor Lawrence that we returned due to damage, that one's still at PSA, and that one was shipped earlier than this card. Come on, PSA. <laughs> we love your slabs. We love the doing great now. There's no backlog. We love the resale value, but your customer service. I mean, if you want to talk to somebody, you got to call at 10.01 and get in line for the whole day to talk to somebody. So It's a lottery, isn't it? Yeah, they're working on it, so... Pretty much. All right, so let's just go ahead and start with the Xavier Tillman just because this this card isn't what we're here for. So this is, like I said, a courtside prism, and it's actually numbered out of 10. And the reason why I bought this card was not only because it was a super good price, but also because um, it's numbered out of 10 and it, he's a Memphis Grizzly. So it, it came back a nine, so I wasn't expecting that grade to change. But the good <laughs> that would have been nice. That would have been nice. But the good news is, is it's not not cracked. So there you go. Very nice. I don't have any idea who that is. I'm not big into basketball anymore like I used to be, so I've never heard of him. I just thought with Jaw on the Grizzlies, mm -hmm. maybe you know, maybe they're investing in the youth, and this guy is supposed to be a big time player, but. According to some stats I looked up, he doesn't really get that many minutes. So maybe it's not going to be that great of an investment. But for $10 plus the grading fee. And how many times do you get a guy, which we're going to talk about in a minute, that's not not doing anything yet. You hold him a couple of years, and he blows up, and then you can sell the card and make right. some money. Even if it's one game. Yeah. Even if he blows up for one game, the market goes crazy. I could sell that. It's going to be really hard not to make a profit. I'm sure I could sell that right now and make a profit. Yeah. but. Yep. I'd rather hold on to it. Beautiful card. So these two are also beautiful cards. So we have, first and foremost, uh, one of the com competitors for the MVP race. We have the Jalen Hurts. This is a silver prism. Nice. I'm kind of short on breath. I have I have the the jitters right now because both of these cards are pretty high end in my in my my opinion. For us, yes. Yeah. So I didn't think either one of them came back at ten. I didn't pre-grade either one of these at 10, but I thought there was a chance. Yep, you pre-graded a 9. Now, do you want to say what you paid for this? We're telling them high-end for us. Yeah, so I purchased this card on my birthday in October for $120. Raw. So I bought it raw yeah. off of Twitter. Um, and the only real issue that I saw was this bottom right corner. There was a little whitening, but it was just extra fuzz. So 
I was like, okay, might as well do it. That's high end for me too. I don't think I've ever paid 120 for one raw card. So just looking at that card right off the bat, do you see anything like centering wise? I'm sure you can't tell the surface no, conditions. it looks really good. Before you do it though, let's give them the comps. If okay. it comes back a nine, you're going to break even. Recent comps was $152. If it comes back a 10, recent sale was $800. And like you said, MVP, playoff run. I think even this, even if this is a nine, I'm going to keep it just because I think Jalen Hurts is still undervalued and there's a lot of potential for him to grow but You're shaking a little man you're right. this is the i think this is the first video i've ever sh shaked while i opened the card ready oh no, well we did a cracking video you were shaking quite a bit and you were cracking those slabs you can hear it in my voice right now that i'm nervous <laughs> i got a nine all right, okay all right, that's what you as thought. expected dang there's just that glimmer of hope yeah. when you're opening up these cards you send them off you're like okay i'm not a professional grader hopefully i got this guy on a good day but well Honestly, getting a nine, um, I wish I gave you notes because I thought mm -hmm. these back corners didn't really justify the nine, but beautiful card. You said you're not a professional grader. Sometimes we wonder if they're professional <laughs> graders. Now, these were the, what, $30 tier? $30 tier, All yep. Right. So this took just about, I think, two months to get turned around. So we'll leave the exact turnaround times in the description below. So here's another... Pretty big card. Here's a Micah Parsons uh, prism. This should be the red prism, or I'm sorry, the red shimmer, shimmer prism, which is first off the line exclusive, numbered out of 35. Nice card. Um, I also thought this one was going to come back a nine. Um, and I know these guys dog me all the time about defensive players, but Micah Parsons to. is a nut. Yeah, we used to, not anymore. You, um, you picked him up. In the off season, got him graded, and we're selling him at the beginning of the year and making some profit. And he's just a beast right now. So yeah. So PSA nine, which is what you think this will be, is two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And a PSA ten recently sold. You know, it's not many comps because it's only numbered to thirty five, but five hundred dollars. Okay. So. I will say that I got this card for purchase for the value for the same as the Jalen. I got it for one twenty on the day of my birthday as well. So. A little OC on the front, but it's probably within their tolerance if you send it in. Yeah, I thought it was definitely a little off-centered, which is why I think it has the possibility of getting a 9 instead of a 10, and which is why I pre-graded it a 9 instead of a 10. So, there we go. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> oh, very wow. nice. Beautiful card. That's awesome. That is sweet. Yeah. Un He's a beast. I mean, MVP, defensive MVP. Yeah. So, the, the I'm kind of torn. I kind of... You know, I love the fact that this is a 10, but I'm going to sell this. I wish this was a 10 because I would have kept it, you know, yeah. but Which I'll probably still keep the nine. Strange to me because you have always, like you said, we've always picked on you for defensive players and getting guys, some guys I've never heard of. He's a beast. Mm -hmm. Long term, if it's worth money now. Oh, yeah. Think about long term, how much it would be worth. So, I mean, if you had an, let's put it in perspective, if you had an Aaron Donald rookie, red prism or red shimmer out of 35 and it was a gem. Imagine what that Aaron Donald would be worth today. Yeah, yeah. It'd be crazy. So, nevertheless, I know we kind of dragged this one out for these two beautiful cards. Got a 9 and a 10. I was expecting two 9s in all honesty, but uh, just getting one gem on this is honestly a treat. So, woo! Nice. Shaking Congrats. a little bit on that one. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, as John was mentioning earlier, we do have that giveaway going on. Uh, I believe this, is, uh, this video will be dropping on the 15th. So if it is, today's the last day for you to sign up. So be sure to go check out the thumbnail of John getting punched in the nads. Like, comment on that video. Make sure you're a subscriber. And we will be picking three winners for three individual mega boxes. And I believe it will be on the 17th. Are we doing the actual pool on the 17th? Yeah, whatever that Saturday is, the date. Oh, the day after. So the yeah. 16th? I think okay. it's the 16th. Make sure to check out that video because that video has all the specifics uh, that you will need to know for that giveaway. But thank you so much for joining us for this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.